Hi everybody. Today we're going to be doing some science and in particular I'm scientist uh, Bumpa and this is scientist Joe. Now scientists can be any age. How old are you Joe? <laughs> seven. She's seven years old. We're going to be doing science today. This is going to go with the sheet which is uh, simple is sometimes not that simple. And so what we're going to work with is we're going to have different temperatures of water. We are going to have and Joe, what are these guys here? These little guys there. Those are mini little fizzy tabs. And what happens when you put them in water? They dissolve. Okay, so now what we gotta do is we're gonna look at conditions that might make them dissolve faster or maybe slower. So think about some conditions that you might think that we can change. Hmm. Well, if you're gonna jump into a pool, what might be one thing you might be concerned about? Is it hot or is it cold? Ooh, so one thing is gonna be temperature, okay? So temperature is definitely gonna be one thing. Another thing could be, it, like, what? The things that you're putting it into. Ooh, like what sort of thing might we be able to put it into? Water or baking soda or yeah. oil or something like oh, that. Oh, we could possibly put it into something like oil. Uh, or like maybe an acid or something. So we have some variables to test. So we can have temperature, we can have oil, we can have acid. So we're gonna have some different conditions. So we're gonna set. Now, before we get ready, we gotta make sure we are safe. So Joe, could you start telling us about some things that you have that help make you safe? These are science goggles and they help me stay safe to protect my eyes. What else Besides you Besides protecting your eyes, what else do you want to protect? You want to protect your feet too, just in case anything um, might drop on your feet. Yeah, so closed-toed shoes. And you happen to have a very fancy lab coat. Yep. <laughs> and so you got your lab coat, so we're ready to start. Okay, scientist Joe, could you show us what's going on? Why don't you put your goggles on and show us what our situation is? like liquids that we can put these things into and we're going to count the seconds that it takes and I'm going to write it down here. Fantastic. Okay, Joe, would you please go and add all the different ones and I'm going to start timing. Sure. So add one to each one. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So Joe, let's take a look at any observations that you might have. So right now, how's the cold doing? Here's the cold, it's still dissolving. Okay, is the room temperature dissolving faster or slower? What do you think? It's dissolving faster because the color is more strong. Okay, and then what about this hot one? It's this... dissolving very quick. Yeah, and we can actually take a look inside. I'm gonna put this up. This guy's going pretty good. Okay, what about the oil? What's it doing? The oil isn't dissolving at all. Yeah. And what about the acid? What's the acid doing? The acid is making it dissolve not as quick as the other ones, but still quick. So would you say it's faster or slower than the oil? Mm, very much faster. What about from the hot? The hot is going faster. And then what about the room temperature? I think it's going slower. And then what about cold? Going slower. It's going faster. Cold is going faster? No, the, I mean, the yeah. acid. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Okay. So here we are at two minutes, and we're finding cold, still not much. Room temperature, eh. oils doing nothing, and the acid is done. Yeah, there's a little bit of fizzing, but it's pretty much done. So we found out that the hot actually dissolved in about 40 seconds. Scientist Joe, could you show us the data table, please? Mm -hmm. Just hold it up. And we're finding that cold was 300 seconds, room temp 180, hot 40, oil NA not applicable, didn't work at all, and acid 120. All right, so Joe, did that sort of fit with what you thought it might be? Well, I thought the cold would dissolve a lot faster. And I thought the oil would dissolve, That's but it didn't. 
you know, you're really interesting when you're talking about the oil. Let's try something here. Here's some water. And what I want you to do, Hot and we're going to take a look. Uh, it's about a little bit, just a little bit warmer than room temperature. And what we're going to do is I want you to pour some water into the oil. Tell me when to stop. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, stop. Okay, now let's take a look at the situation. <gasps> Joe, what's happening? It's fizzing a little. Oh my gosh, and we've got two layers. What do you think that top layer is? It's the oil, and the bottom layer is the water. Oh my with, gosh. And then the thing is fizzing. And it's fizzing. Now, not only that. It's really beautiful. It does look beautiful. And in fact, Joe, take a look at something very, very interesting about the bubbles which are being made here. What are you noticing? They're purple and they're going to the top and floating, which is making it purple. What do you think that, so we're making all these bubbles. What do you think's inside the bubble? Maybe little parts of the fizzy. <gasps> and what's outside of it? The oil. Ooh. So in other words, it's making little spheres of oil surrounding the water with the fizzies in it. Mm, huh. Very That's interesting. Some, that is very interesting. So we can see the bubbles coming up. And those bubbles have in them the water, which is surrounding it. Pretty awesome. Okay, Scientist Joe, what have we done to the tab now? We have crunched it up. Oh my God. Okay, so now take it and we're gonna add it to the water. Go ahead and add it in. Okay. Joe, what's happening to the rate at which it's dissolving now? It's dissolving much faster. Oh my gosh. I have a hypothesis why it is dissolving much faster. What's that? I think it's because it is much smaller, so it can get more water into it more quickly, so it can dissolve. You know what, Joe? That's exactly a, a great idea to make a hypothesis and test it. So what we're, you, you students are gonna do is the students are gonna go take a look at all the different little conditions that we did and describe each one using the worksheet that we have. Joe, Science Joe, good job. Go science. Good job, scientists. <laughs>